Hey, what is going on, guys? This is Connor Semsky, and today I'm be showing you guys my setup for spring 2017. If you guys have seen my setup before, it's pretty similar to how it was in the past, but uh, some layout changes, some things added, some things removed, and I'm just gonna go through and do my usual thing. If you guys have seen this uh, setup video before, it's gonna be pretty much the same format. So we're gonna start off over here on the right at the closet of dreams in here. Uh, and here we have all of my stuff, boxes, clothes, you name it. Uh, I usually just store everything in here. Got my OG Xbox 360 over there, uh, original PS3 box from 07 over there, just all sorts of stuff, computer parts, graphics cards, controllers, you name it. Uh, basically all stays in there. So over here we have my bed. Fucking love this thing just the bed but over here uh, I got a little charging station that's where I just charge everything and uh, up here we have my Apple watch which is charging right now uh, MacBook Pro this is a 2013 I believe late 2013 MacBook Pro kind of needs an upgrade but I mean it's doing the job I really only use it now just for like basic mobile stuff uh, I use it a lot in bed when I'm just you know lazy on a Sunday and I want to go through top five play submissions I'll just usually sit on that thing and do that uh, regular old light there these here are absolutely essential they are the Bose CQ25 I believe they're called um, I'm not sure exactly the model number but Bose quiet comfort probably the best headphones I've ever owned they're completely noise canceling which is just amazing especially if you're laying in bed and you're trying to watch something and I don't know the air conditioning is coming on or out here especially there's a road right there always cars driving by loud as fuck especially if i have the windows open and uh that's just awesome to have uh over here we have a uh, ipad charger this over here is an ipad mini it's dead i don't really use this anymore because i did actually just pick up a new ipad uh last week so i'll get into that in a second but this is the travel case for those headphones down here we have some shoes uh over there is a travel bag for my laptop uh, over here we have a cable box and down there is a Roku box. I use that thing every night for Netflix. It does 4K which is perfect for this thing right here. Uh, this is a 50 inch 4K TV. It is a no name brand but I mean I got it on Black Friday and this is crazy. I got it for $300. A 50 inch 4K TV. It's not a smart TV but that's what that Roku box is for. A lot of people are skeptical about these no name brands but honestly I've had literally zero issues with this thing great 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 TV uh, I'll actually put the model number to that in the description if you guys are trying to buy a TV um, just unbelievable for the price advanced warfare poster I know shoot me in the head COD 4 remastered COD ghost and black ops 2 I don't know why I don't have a black ops 3 poster because that's one of my favorite games out of all of these but uh, I'll get into that Michael Jordan poster because that thing's fucking awesome 2007 iMac um, I don't use it. It's not plugged in anywhere as you can see uh, It's just literally sitting there and it's just kind of a decoration I got it for free from a friend of my mom's and it's just pretty cool to have laying around uh, Over down here. We have the router. We have an Xbox 360 that was red ringed a fully functional PS3 I never really would use that. I do have a working Xbox 360 up there, but uh, in there we have like tickets and movie stuff uh, in that box or just stuff for memories. Now over here is the main setup. I do have a Serta chair. I'm not sure the exact model of it, but really anything Serta is really good for your back. Just overall great support. I'm going to sit in this while I can kind of just show you. I don't even have my setup turned on, but I'll actually do it in order. Turn on the PC. PS4 and I'll let everything boot up uh, over here is a can of air let's not forget this this is essential to every setup uh, anytime you need to get rid of dust let me see if I can focus my camera so like there's some dust there you can see it really well because of the natural sunlight so if I want to get that away just died on me fuck here is my original Xbox 360 I got in 2009 I got a Cronus Max plugged into there so I can use my PS4 Battle Beaver on that. Um, an external USB flash drive just for storage purposes. I think I got MW2 in there, but regardless, it's an Xbox 360. It's really, really old. I think it's eight years old now, and it still works perfectly. Um, right there is the glorious PS4 Pro. 
an Xbox One, a lot of people are going to be doing backflips because of the Xbox One's vertical, but uh, I haven't had any issues, so I, I don't know. I, I really just, it's fine, exactly like this. I know they don't recommend it, but um, like I said, I haven't had any problems. In here, we do have the one and only Collective Mind Strike Pack. This thing is awesome. It's a great alternative to a scuff or a battle beaver. And I used that actually for months when I started having issues with my original battle beaver before I got that new one. So uh, this is just my main backup. Anytime I'm gonna have controller issues, I will have that thing on standby. Uh, over here is the iPad Air 2. This thing is great. Uh, I got all sorts of Twitter notifications, man. Uh, yeah, iPad Air 2, I actually got this for $150, which is a steal. Great buy overall. Over here is my Xbox One scuff. I use a regular scuff controller. Um, they don't break as easily on Xbox One. That's probably just because I don't play my Xbox One that much, so I haven't had to deal with broken controllers. So, um, honestly, this has been perfectly fine for me. Uh, back there, we have a little charging station. I have that running into my phone uh ps4 battle beaver uh here we go beautiful battle beaver i got a control freak there this is actually the infinite warfare control freak and um you know a lot of people ask me what kind of buttons do you use on your battle beaver i use just the regular default standard settings and back there we got the uh Simscure tags there are not tags the sticker going over the light bar and of course the control freak uh, cable I actually made a video on that that's probably the best cable that you can get uh, speaking of control freak they actually sent me this uh, just today actually so I'm gonna be throwing these on my controllers I'll let you know let you know how they are but uh, this is actually the control freak edge and what's special about this is the fact that they're dual height so I don't know if you can tell but uh, the one on the left is smaller than the one on the right which basically makes it so that the one on the right has more control and the left just has a better grip. So I'll be showing those off in a little bit. But um, over here, uh, we have the Astro A40 headset. This thing is awesome. I've had it for years and years and years. Here we have the Razer Death Adder Chroma mouse. I've been using that for a few years now. Uh, over there is the Razer Black Widow Chroma keyboard, which is awesome. Uh, let's not forget about this monitor here. I almost forgot. Uh, there is a ViewSonic. I don't remember the exact model number, but I did a review on it. Uh, it's 4K. I used this for a long time um, as my main gaming monitor, but due to... Uh, I'll actually show this off. Um, if you guys want, if you have a PS4 Pro, right, and you want to record in 1080p on your Elgato or stream on an Elgato or any sort of capture card that's 1080p, you're going to need something called an HDMI scaler. And I have it all the way back there. You can kind of see it. It's hiding down there. Um, it's expensive as fuck. I'm going to let you know right now. It took me a while to get, but um, I ended up saving up and buying it. And basically what it does is it takes the 4K signal and converts it to 1080p. You put one end into your capture card and then the other end, which is in full 4K to your monitor. The problem is that 4K signal that goes to your monitor is a certain type of color range, which this monitor doesn't support. So as a result, I had to get another 4K monitor. It kind of future-proofed me, so I'm not complaining really, but I was really happy with the specs and stuff on this monitor, but I ended up getting an Asus monitor, which I actually did a review on as well on my channel. If you guys want to check that out, you can. And over here is my main monitor. This is a 144Hz 1080p 1 millisecond Acer monitor. I've been using this for, I think, two years now. Unbelievable, man. If you guys have never used the 144Hz monitor and you got a custom PC, honestly, it's worth it. It'll change your life. It is just unbelievable how smooth everything is. I love it. And uh, over here we have the Blue Snowball, or Blue Snowball, Blue Yeti mic with a pop filter. This thing actually does make quite a big difference. Uh, Chick-fil-A cup just came from Chick-fil-A. Gotta love it. Apple headphones, I use those on the go all the time. If I'm not going to be using those uh, Bose headphones over there. I actually never showed this off on my channel, but I figured I will now. Now's the perfect time. Uh, this was kind of a thing I was going to do. Kind of a documentary style video. I kind of talked about it on Twitter. It's called Hashtag Fix Cod. And this is pretty much everything wrong with Infinite Warfare at the time in which I like wrote this all down. But yeah, there's nothing on the back. Uh, just a complete list of everything. I would address everything and give a proper solution to each. And um, unfortunately, I just never really went through with it. But um, yeah, kind of like a scrapped project, if you will. Uh, over here, we have a 
just five gum, can't go wrong with five gum. Wallet, pen, change bucket. Here, you might be wondering what the fuck I'm doing with this. This is my first phone from like 2007, 2008. Amazing, man. <laughs> uh, just look at, look at the design, man. Remember when flip phones were the shit? Um, I'm actually ordering a charger because I don't have the charger for it, but I actually have some basketball trick shot videos that I recorded with my friends one summer when I was like 12. And uh, I'm gonna try to see if I can get the footage and maybe upload it to Twitter or something. But um, yeah, I actually did buy a charger for that. So we'll see what's on it. Uh, pens, pencils, you name it over there. Trash over there, slippers. And that brings us back to the start. I'll get one more 360 view for you guys. And that's that, we got the Michael Jordan poster. Love showing this off, I just fucking love this. I saw it on Twitter. I actually got it um, printed. I think Vista Print is the name of the company. They'll literally make a poster out of anything. Whatever size you want, as long as the image quality is decent, they'll do it, which is pretty cool. But that's my uh, setup video, man. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, you got any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments section. I did pay for all of this with my own money, with the exception of the actual furniture. So uh, just an FYI. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.